Hello you underwater fish zombies, it's me, Rusty, and today we're playing some Incubo, or Incubo, I don't know how you pronounce it. I believe this is an Indonesian game, it's kind of intrigued me, which is why I purchased it for £5. It's a horror puzzle platformer. It looks a bit Binding of Isaac, but with a, I'm sure it's Indonesia, I could be wrong, uh, the amazing intro video, I think you can view it on the the store page, but I'm going to show a bit of it anyway at some point because it's so good, it's so overly dramatic, and it seems like bad translation, but anyway, let's, yeah, let's play from the beginning. Yeah, I started it to see if it worked. So we're a boy, this boy, he got a new family, he, he got a stepfather, um, fell into the, fell into the ocean when they went on a cruise, so I have no idea what's happening now, but... I'm sure it's going to be all issues and metaphorical. That intro was very binding of Isaac though, because doesn't he jump into the cellar? Little Isaac, because his mum's a like, religious maniac. Uh, this seems like a similar dealie, but the dad, the stepfather, is a... Just not very nice. And um, we've got an achievement. Oh, good. In we go. We just did some slow-mo running there. Uh-oh. Excuse me, where are we? Where are we? Where am I? You must search your memory to escape this place. What? So 2D, not really the best, I don't think, for horror or survival horror, although Lone Survivor, pretty good game. Um, I think it's because it, it's not as immersive. It's harder to get the horror atmosphere right in a 2D setting, I think. Okay, so we can we can swing, but it's just very slow. Why also I appear to be in a hospital gown? Um Yes, this is going to be metaphorical, isn't it? We've got upside down turnip people? Or maybe onions? I don't know. It's it's, it's intriguing though, I'll give it that. Yep, that's the game in Cubo. <laughs> Uh, I saw, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've, I've been ill slash unmotivated since Christmas. I'm um, still a bit ill, to be honest, but I felt like making one. It's a good... T oh, God, I died. I died and red came out of me. Like a red JPEG. Okay, right. We'll do that better this time. The jump didn't seem to respond to me there. Uh, uh, no, didn't do it again. Why is that, I wonder? Okay, let's try it again. Can we push the box? Yep, okay, physics don't happen in this world, that's fine. Okay, it, for some reason it worked that time. Maybe I was leaving it a bit too late, but... Oh god. So, I don't know if it's something up with my controller, but... Sometimes it's moving me down the rope when I'm... When I'm trying to just move side to side. This is my picture with mum and dad. Which dad though? The evil stepfather or? Oh my god, but I was a girl! Who are they with my dad? <laughs> oh bless. And then the art style's quite nice. There's not any music or there's like limited music. Which I guess can help with the atmosphere. There are nine patients, number three, six, and eight are already dead. <gasps> oh no. Am I dead? Oh god, I didn't mean to skip. Yeah, okay, we've read that, good. So some of the other footage from the st Oh god. So I guess we're not bouncing on there anymore. Oh my god, what is that? What has happened? I, I was jump scared by an onion. <laughs> Did I die? I guess I did. How was I meant to avoid that? This seems very trial and error a la something like Limbo. Which, yeah, that game just annoyed me. So it didn't tell me what to do to avoid that there. And also, those pillars are cracked as well, so why didn't that one break? Okay, well we have got other moves. We've got shut my eyes and we've got hold breath. And he holds his breath by rather adorably covering his face like that. So I guess cover my eyes. 
No, no, that didn't work. Right. Well, let's carry on with this trial and error. So, oh, we've got to watch this again. At least we can skip it. What's this? So that doesn't give me any clues as to what to do with this ghost. Or whatever it is. Undead. Right, we'll jump over that one. And that one? Yeah. Yeah, it is. See, Limbo was trial and error because you you essentially had to die in a lot of areas so you could tell where to go. Oh, okay. What was it? Three, three, six, and eight? I, mean, I don't know why that helps me. Press up to view. Okay. So, there's like three evil gnomes. Can we rotate that one? No, we can't. Press interact to rotate. Well, oh, there we go. So it wasn't working there. This has had a lot of patches since it was released. Uh, so it's it's apparently one of those games, well, it seems to be one of those games, where the developers think the release dates don't really matter. Uh, they give you much leeway to continue to patch your game and fix your game and improve your game um, despite the fact that it is already out not in early access or anything like that we'll turn that upside down I don't, is this a puzzle? this is a puzzle isn't it? I'm not even pressing up there god damn it press interact rotate okay so this is very fiddly, the controls on this. It says use a gamepad as well, so make the gamepad controls less terrible. Unless my control is broken. It shouldn't be. I mean, I haven't used it in a while, but... Right, so... Right, let's look at this. No, I'm pressing up. No. Okay, so up on the D-pad doesn't work. Um. Right. So, that guy's got an eye. Are they pointing in the right direction, or...? They're pointing at eyes. They're all pointing to, like, the left. I mean, that isn't helpful at all, is it, really? We could get them all maybe looking that way. Oh, no, we couldn't with these bloody controls. There we go. Um, no. I want you to... Yes, no. Yeah, there. Has that worked? And there. No. Oh, oh, we got it. There we go. <laughs> Blimey. So, yeah. All looking to the right. That wasn't made too clear by that other picture, was it, really? Um, and we've just come out of a dog kennel. Milo. Milo the dog. I had. Well, I have to do my own voice acting. There's the girl again. A dog, Milo. The art style's quite interesting. The waterfall and the trees, they almost look like they were done in paint with that airbrush tool. Um, that's quite an interesting effect on the waterfall. Okay, more pushing things puzzles. Push here to... So there's a false perspective there. I can't... Act. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I hate this style of gameplay. Other people like it. Or don't. It doesn't annoy them as much. That's why Limbo has so many fans. But I'm I'm not a fan. Um, it's kind of like those... Be, be the hardest, whatever those games are. Where you... Um, the specific purpose of them is to be annoying. Annoyingly difficult. Trial and error. Oh, I made it. Hang on. Okay, I... No. I can't go up and down. That is a false perspective, so... Come on, right. So we got to push it a bit further, I guess. Or push it slowly? Oh, God. No! <laughs> oh, 
Jesus. Right, push it again. Um, yeah, you might be wondering why I bought this. Oh, there we go. So that was that was easy enough. Um, I I said it looks quite intriguing because of the binding of Isaac slash Indonesian, you know, horror horror things I'm not used to. Um, and I was just looking for like interesting cheapo horror games around Christmas. It's not really the season for it, but we here we go and jump. But this one was one of the ones that looked, you know, all right. And it's slightly different because it's 2D puzzle, puzzle platformer kind of style. Um, see, it looked like I should be able to go up there. So there's no entry. Are these going to come to life? I'm sure they are. Something's missing from this statue. Yeah, it hasn't got a red thing. It needs an apple. There's one. How am I going to get it? Oh, I just walk into it. Come on, give me that apple. Puzzles. <laughs> Incubo, yeah. That's the game. That's what it's called. Oh no, not another picture. This picture should have a Yuri on it. Well, there we go. There is the translation issue there, because what the hell is one of those? They obviously don't know what the English is for that, or they don't have an English word for that. I'm sure the weebs amongst you would know, but not me. Push this box. And we're in like a theatre now, or a... I mean, what is happening? Okay, I've, I've pushed that the wrong way, because I can't can't push it any further. Yeah, gonna have to die. <laughs> I just want to see if the yeah I've, I've read all this. Yep, thank you. Seeing if there's different animations when he dies. Okay, maybe we can push it. Oh no, no, I can't jump up. I've screwed that up. Does that mean I'm going to have to die now because I messed it up? I bet it does, doesn't it? Right, let's just try. Like we can't for some reason we can't go right. Okay, yeah, we've got to die. So yeah, I can't jump up there. Oh no. I thought those were spikes, but no, it's just gaps in the curtain. Right, okay, so we can move this this way. Yep, he's not actually holding on to the box, but you know, bless him. Right, jump up, and what can we do up here? We can climb up this ladder, okay. Oh god, I jumped. Right, screw it, we'll go all the way to the top, because I spot me a rope. That's a Yuri. Is Yuri a ghost? Maybe. I, don't, I have no idea. So yeah, I think it was kind of like a folklore game as well. Oh my god, shut your eyes. But that didn't work. Oh, but we are, we are now trapped in the pitch. <laughs> oh, you taking the mick and then we get, yes. So, shutting your eyes didn't work. God game, I wish you would tell me what to do. Just please. Try running away this time, I think. Gotta do all this crap again. Oh, yep, yeah, come on. Slowly pull the box over. Um, hold breath, maybe? Maybe just run away. I'm gonna run away, I think. Run away, jump down the hole. So we get these little scenarios where we have no clue what to do. And and that sucks. And there's no tutorial for that. All we got was that bit at the beginning that told us the controls. Um, okay, so we'll go this way. I guess we need to lure it. Holding my breath doesn't do anything. Okay, go, go, go. The Yuri is coming. Oh my god, it can fly. Climb down. Jump. Jump. Oh my god. I, I died. There's full damage, of course there is.
But the boy would get confused and just often cried alone. One day, by chance, they won tickets for a cruise. The boy was very thrilled. But he obviously noticed that his stepfather seemed weird still. Okay, so yeah, the trial and error here is shocking. We we did it, but if you haven't pushed that box down up there, if you haven't essentially set up the puzzle, you are going to get caught every time. So that box had to be down. That's poor game design guy, developers. Uh, he he games, I believe they're called. Yeah. How am I meant to know I'm going to need both boxes? I mean, really? You should have had to set up that in advance. Yeah. That's not good game design. Be better in Cubo. So otherwise you keep having to do it again and again. And you might be wondering what you haven't done right. Um, and having to, yeah, it's, don't make the whole thing so slow and... Oh, something happening again. So I'm guessing the daughter died, and y are you the kid from, what's that, iRobot, not iRobot, the one with Hayley Joel Osman, or the other one, the other failed child actor? Hide out, alright then. Uh, I don't know why I went in that tree. Oh my god, because there's a creepy zombie. That was quite a, that nearly got me there, that was quite a creepy sound effect. Um, oh, press up to hide. What even is that? What is going on? So we're just slowly following this thing now. Also removes quite a bit of the horror when you have to keep redoing sections over and over again. When it becomes trial and error like that. Uh, what? What, mate? And again, it didn't let me hide in the tree. <sighs> Here we go again. So I've no idea what triggers it. So again, they haven't explained their mechanics at all. I mean, why, why would that ever be useful? It just means I can't see. Okay, and now, no, I didn't even press up there. I just. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god, get, get in the tree. Why have you put me out of the tree? What is the point of a hiding place you cannot hide in? Oh, this game's annoying me now. I paid money for this. No, we can follow it till like the last tree, basically. I guess I could try holding my breath. No, see, look how close I can get. Oh, God. I'm holding my breath. No, I died anyway. <laughs> oh, it's like little set pieces that just make no sense. Right. Can I jump over it? No, I'm not going to try. That will waste a precious go. Just going to have to hide better. I guess the boy's nicely animated. Can I hold my breath in the tree? No. So what is the point? The light's gone. Oh, right, I'm not pressing anything on the controller, so... Good, right. Can I go now? Oh, it's a slow process, this. in this one yep you can flip out all you want Skeletor it's like a Japanese ghost girl cross with Skeletor 
wearing some kind of bloody butcher's apron. I guess that could be a night dress. And this one? Oh, there's no hiding place down here. Yep, yeah, go on, flip out, look back, and carry on. But there's, there's no tree for me to hide in. So what, what happens now? It's alright, we got Achievement K. Okay, there's a hidey hole there. So if I go back to that one, I won't be able to see where she is. Yeah, she's going to turn around, isn't she? What is this, bollocks? Oh, in. There we go. Uh, right, okay. Did she electrocute herself? Uh, oh. Uh, what? Oh, no. If that starts me from the beginning of this bit again. You can fuck right off. It didn't. But again, did, did you see? I jumped. Did you see me do a jump? I mean, seriously, game. I'm just going to wait this time. I'm falling for your tricks, love. I'm, I'm getting me that balloon, and then we're done. We're done with this. It's still vaguely, intri vaguely intriguing. Um, you know, having a new monster appear every time that may be from Indonesian or at least, you know, East Asian folklore. I don't know what kind of thing this is. But isn't Indonesian, isn't the floaty head thing Indonesian? Floaty head and entrails. Um, I, I can't even get the balloon. Yeah, go on. Go in the circus tent, you weirdo. There we go. Yes, thank you for that jump scare. Hello? <laughs> it just... It was like it was coming out of the screen. Well, there we go. I think... I think we leave it there. Um, we're now in a circus with lots of clones of ourselves, by the looks of it. If you're more forgiving of the trial and error gameplay, you might enjoy this. Uh, if you like weird anime-ish horror games. I'll keep going, but I'm eventually going to stop because I get so frustrated with this kind of gameplay. I mean, look there. I, I couldn't make that jump. Yeah. Screw this game. <laughs> I'll see you next time, and it hopefully won't be as long this time. Uh, bye. I like the circus.